2022 Aerobic Gymnastics World Championships here in Guimarães, in Portugal. For the second time, the country has the honor to receive, to host this competition. And we have the pleasure today to be here with Sara Moreno, world champion and the ambassador of this competition. And thank you so much for sending your love and your hearts, for raising your hearts for her. You are already receiving your love here. Sara, thank you so much for being here with us. A special moment for us from the competition, a special moment for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, would like you please start introducing yourself and tell us your journey since you start gymnastics and your love for aerobics. Bueno, pues soy Sara Moreno, eh, soy de España y soy cinco veces campeona del mundo, cuatro veces campeona de Europa y nada, para mí es un placer eh, poder ser la embajadora de este mundial, eh, es un gran reconocimiento a toda mi carrera deportiva y nada, ahora me dedico un poquito a ser entrenadora, a ser juez y también estoy en la Federación de Gimnasia de la Comunidad Valenciana eh, dando todo por la gimnasia siempre. E Sara, quando tu pensas, quando hai iniziato, hai iniziato tic tic uh, so when you started like so small, and then what made you build this strength to continue doing for so many years? Uh, Sara was telling us that she is four times world champion, five times European champion, and she never gave up on this, on this discipline. And nowadays, she dedicates herself as a judge, as a coach, and also works in the Spain Federation. Eh, siempre que he sido gimnasta eh, nunca he tirado la toalla, siempre he decidido luchar por todos los objetivos. Eh, de normal hay veces que no se consiguen, pero siempre hay que, que luchar por ellos. So she's telling us that she never gave up. And uh, who are the person, the people that you, in that time, you used to follow the gymnasts, the coaches that help you to build your career? Eh, para mí lo, lo que me ha hecho seguir siempre ha sido mi, mi entrenadora, Sara Jonart, y mi compañero Vicente G, y también pues mi familia. Siempre ha sido mi familia la que me ha, me ha dicho de tirar hacia adelante y de luchar por, por todos los objetivos. So for Sara, her family, her coach, and her Vicente Lee, that was her partner for so many years, were the person that was an uh, inspiration for her. Uh, what do you think that is the challenges for this new generation and for us to have more and more people doing aerobics? What you could say to them, what made you fell in love for aerobics and what maybe you could share with the audience that maybe can be them fell in love as well? Para mí ya no es solo eh, estar enamorado de la gimnasia, sino es perseverar por algo, es luchar por un objetivo, es siempre trabajar y ser constantes en todo, en todo momento. So for Sara, it's important to be constant in every moment, and this makes you build the strength to go forward every, at every time. Sara, for you, uh, when do you think about this honor to be the ambassador and the importance to be in this moment here in these World Championships mm -hmm. after COVID? And what you could uh, share that your feelings in this moment, this was because they prepared the Gymnastics Federation, the FAG, prepare a very beautiful video showing your history. When you see your history on the, on the stage, being like clapping for all people, what do you feel? Pues ahora mismo para mí es un, un orgullo realmente porque en el momento en el que tú eh, ganas un mundial o ganas un europeo no, no sientes que, que seas el mejor. Eh, yo lo empecé a sentir cuando realmente me, me he dejado la gimnasia, es como, ostras, he podido eh, transmitir un montón de valores a, a todos los gimnastas, entonces para mí eso es lo realmente importante. For Sara, the importance is to um, the all values, personal values that she could build in all this journey in the gymnastics. She 
feels honored with all the videos and to see her career. But sometimes uh, she always was struggling for something more and trying harder and harder to be prepared to these challenges. And when, do, when you think about and when you talk about your work in the, the Spain Federation, the Spain Federation is also a very strong theme in the um, in the aerobics, and you you made with Vicente in your quota legacy. Mm -hmm. And then you can see this legacy in the World Age Group competitions and also in your championships. How is the work that you do there and how do you help the Spain Federation? Eh, bueno, yo no, es, yo no trabajo en la Federación Española, trabajo en la Federación de Valencia, que es mi, mi ciudad. Entonces ahí me encargo un poquito del tema administrativo, sí que me encargo de organizar competiciones, tanto de gimnasia aeróbica como de acrobática, rítmica, artística, estoy un poquito en todo. Eh, por tanto, no estoy solo en la aeróbica, también intento mmm, transmitir algo más en las demás disciplinas de la gimnasia. E para e now your next dreams and your next challenges. Uh -huh. eh, bueno, ahora estoy en un momento personal de mi vida que mm, bueno voy a ser mamá, entonces eh, no quiere decir que vaya a dejar la gimnasia de lado, al revés, siempre voy a seguir vinculada a la gimnasia, va a ser lo más principal en mi vida, pero sí que va a nacer un bebé que, que va a necesitar también de de mi apoyo y de mi cariño, entonces, pues, ese es mi, mi reto ahora. This is so beautiful, now she is pregnant, and she's telling that even though she loves gymnastics and she's continue working for gymnastics and to develop and to make the gymnastics a greater sport, uh, she is in this moment, it is a personal moment, she will dedicate herself a little bit for this new journey, this new experience that's totally new for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wish you good luck in, mm -hmm. in all this, this <laughs> moment. <laughs> and she was telling us that she works in the Valencia Federation with all disciplines, so she has the opportunity also to inspire other people for other disciplines, other kids to do and to do their best. Uh, la, la, el tuo país estat, uh, had a very good uh, results in the World Age Group competitions as well. The World Championships is going now and uh, what what do you feel, feel when, do, when you see this new generation from your country raising your flag en españa este año hemos hecho un super trabajo en, de cara a, a escoger a elegir al, al equipo tenemos un montón de nivel eh, tanto en chicos como en chicas y creo que lo que se ha hecho desde la Federación Española con el seleccionador Sergio García ha sido increíble el trabajo y creo que la semana pasada se ha notado en los resultados y a ver esta semana qué tal, hoy estamos en dos finales, España estamos con Miquel y con el grupo senior y bueno, a ver qué tal va. Pero creo que la Federación Española está haciendo muy buen trabajo con, con nosotros, con la gimnasia aeróbica. Um, so, um, Sara was telling us that she really is pleased and proud of the work that the Spain and the Spain Federation is doing with uh, Sergio Garcia, the person that is in this moment is responsible to search and to define the, the, the Spain team. And the work was really good and you could see this in the World Age Group competitions last week and in this week and today. Uh, Spain has two finals, Michael Manet, actual world champion mm -hmm. in the finals in the individual men and also in group. Sara, thank you so much. <laughs> We'd like you now share your love, your inspiration for this new generation to join this beautiful sport. Nada, muchas gracias a todos los que seguís eh, vinculados en la gimnasia aeróbica y hay que seguir luchando siempre por ella. Un besito muy grande. <laughs> She's telling us that please fight for aerobics, keep doing your job, the results will come and this sport is very be beautiful and then she gives kisses to everybody and I ask you to choose a way you're going to do in your picture. So a picture here, <laughs> then you can have look like hearts, oh, yeah, super cool, cute. <laughs> Thank you so much.